Welcome to Beyond the Seas. We're on board Ponant's Le Boreal in the Gatun Locks, the last series of locks in the Panama Canal before the Caribbean and Atlantic side and the port of Colón. This canal links the Pacific and the Atlantic. We're going to meet Olivier de Carsozan, who will tell us about his feelings on the Panama Canal, which he has sailed several times. It was the dream of Ferdinand de Lesseps. Gauguin worked on it. The French began work on a really tiny part of the canal that you can see when you're on the other side. Afterwards, it was taken over by the Americans. They say up to 25,000 men lost their lives. For lots of people who had no other way of earning a living, it was the job of their life and their death. It's a wonderful achievement because the canal's motto, I love it, the land divided, the world united. It's truly the symbol of what these men created to make their world better. A world where a boat going from New York to San Francisco round Cape Horn before the canal had to travel 20 odd thousand kilometers. After the canal was opened, that was cut down to 10,000 kilometers, half the distance. I went across the first time with Eric Tabali in 1969. On Pendwick 4, we were on our way to the United States. In 1914, it was $1 a ton, and we were going through with a boat weighing five tons, Pendwick 4, so we paid $5, including the pilot for the day and everything. I think the canal lost money with us. See you soon for Beyond the Seas.